Hello, my name is Max von Abtroth from Philanthropy Advocacy. Over the last month, national associations and foundations have engaged intensively with national governments around the National Recovery and Resilience Fund. The objective of this engagement was to increase the engagement uh, with civil society around these programs that aim to, on the one hand side, address the consequences of the pandemic, but on the other side also to build resilience of national societies. This is very much in line with the European Philanthropy Manifesto, where we recommend that um, policymakers at national and European level should engage more with civil society. In this very same spirit, uh, we started now to step up our engagement with the Conference on the Future of Europe. This project has been launched on Europe Day on the 9th of May by the three EU institutions. It aims to discuss in a very participatory process with citizens across Europe um, aspects of the future of the EU and can lead to reforms that will make a difference to the future of Europe. We will run a webinar on, in mid-June um, to explore together with you how we as a foundation sector can develop a collective impact on this project in order to drive more civic engagement. I'm very happy to invite you to this um, webinar and looking very much forward to meeting you there. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Brussels Beats, our joint Daphne EFC Philanthropy Advocacy Newsletter. My name is Hannah Sormatz and I'm the co-lead in the joint Daphne EFC Philanthropy Advocacy Initiative. Last week saw the European Social Economy Summit and we organized a session on philanthropy and foundations for you. A panel composed of policymakers, practitioners, as well as researchers discussed what the added value of philanthropy is and how existing stumbling blocks could potentially be overcome. The European Parliament also issued a recent study analyzing the feasibility of a European statute for associations and non-profit organizations. Helmut Anheyer, a well-known researcher, contributed to this study. It outlines barriers and potential policy solutions, and we want to build on this momentum. Finally, Ernop organized a tax discussion on philanthropy taxation, which I had the, pri the privilege to moderate and comment, and Ghidra from the University of Geneva presented key findings from the recent OECD study on taxation and philanthropy. Why do governments introduce tax incentives? What is the rationale? What are good practices? If you want to find out more, please read the more detailed articles in this newsletter. See you soon. Stay tuned. Bye bye.